Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. One final entry here based on your suggestions and then I'll give it a rest for a couple of weeks. I'll probably still keep up the Cryptids of the Week entry because it seems to be playing off a pretty popular set of videos recently so uh, be on the lookout for those in the meantime this suggestion came in through right at the last second um, I was looking at uh, some of the items posted from the other suggestions and then looking at some of the newer ones and when I came across this one I had never heard of this particular set of entities before uh, but when it's looking up the information for them it is very intriguing very interesting although I'll, I'll put a little bit of a caveat there there's only one way to reach these entities and it's through what could be considered a dangerous method so I don't really recommend it but as far as what I'm talking about here are the strange entities I guess you could call them cryptids known as the machine elves and they are probably the weirdest most abstract best word to use is psychedelic um, and cryptids that I've come across yet I'm gonna describe what their experience is based on other people's descriptions and how people got to those um, and once you go through this information you'll know exactly what I mean when when this is by far the most strangest set of cryptids yet I mean I don't think there's anything else that comes even close and the unique fact about these entities is that they are not if they're real not in our realm um, they're not like the other cryptids that I've talked about in the past where um, you can find them here on earth or somewhere in the atmosphere surrounding earth no these entities exist in some other realm completely different from ours another dimension another universe who knows but how you get to them I'll explain here soon so machine elves what are they they're considered and this is the official quote like hyper spatial entities that inhibit a certain realm uh, this realm is only found through one way and that is taking a psychedelic drug called DMT there's a official scientific word for DMT but it's way too long to pronounce um, but you'll if you look up the information for it you'll see what I mean it's a really really long word but the initials DMT essentially make up the drug first off I uh, just wanted to say I don't recommend any kind of drugs of any sort that are like uh, something like this only because the psychedelic factors the stuff that can do things to your mind it's just something you don't really want to mess with I mean anything involving affecting the mind is if not temporary can be permanent I mean just look at some of the um, drugs that are out there that have to do with uh, altering the state of your mind it's it's something that if as long as it's let's say not medically um, related where you have to have it for medicinal or medical purposes then it's something that is it's not recommended uh, but in terms of the people that have used DMT it actually comes from and it's very popular somewhere around South Africa um, there the indigenous people they have been going on these vision quests of sorts and using them as a method using DMT as a method to go through these quests and then find themselves or find revelations just something where um, they're not really using it it seems like for recreational use but it's more on the lines of trying to make sure that they can um, find some answer that they're seeking and the DMT drug comes from materials found in and around the forest plants for example if mixed in with other chemicals can create this particular psychedelic drug the official um, compounds tied to DMT are there I mean I looked up some of the info on various websites that talk about the history of DMT and the breakdown is there but the chemicals themselves they're apparently a little bit rarer here in the US which is why um, it's not really commonly found I've never heard of DMT nothing like us uh, like say some of the other major drugs that we always hear about in the news like crack and cocaine no with DMT um, it's it's not really at least as far as I know of not well known here in the US 
but across the world and those parts, especially in Africa, it is something that has been going on for a long time. History states, in fact, that the um, pipes used to smoke DMT, they have been around for thousands of years. Uh, we're talking about something where it's probably let's say uh, BC um, when it comes to the history of when the first use was apparently there was like a for example a puma bone that was used as a makeshift way to smoke or inhale the DMT drug and it was carbon dated to be at least about 2000 BC so pretty crazy stuff I mean that's uh, uh, the kind of stuff where you have a large use of this drug happening throughout so many other parts of the world especially with the indigenous people and it was happening for a long long time now as far as the experiences that people have whenever they take this drug it's it's where people make um, they take the drug but experiencing those machine elves only comes if someone is able to reach a certain level uh, within that psychedelic factor um, it's like it's hit or miss apparently um, when you take the drug you can get that psychedelic high but it's not really gonna hit gonna get you to the level that you need where you can start seeing these entities until you get to a certain point how you get there I don't know I don't know if it's tied to the potency of the DMT drug I don't know if it's tied to other factors in terms of your mind and opening your mind and seeing uh, I guess being in a more positive stance who knows but when it comes to those um, states and the levels once you reach that particular level that's when things open up to a whole different realm and then that's when these creatures are purported to come out now what are these creatures themselves the machine elves well you've seen various pictures of them here and I'll let one of the most famous guys uh, in his own words describe what they were um, this is a guy that goes by the name of Terence McKenna um, he's no longer alive but when he was he was a user of DMT he was a writer he was a philosopher he was somebody that chronicled in writing what it felt like to take this drug and then reaching that certain level that was needed to get to the DMT machine elves um, and apparently once you meet these machine elves they recognize that you've reached the level to get to them so much so that they enjoy it um, that's the interesting thing about these machine elves they are not bad elves they are not evil they are not harmful in fact if anything they seem to be on a level where they're more than happy to welcome anyone that reaches them and when they do so the the effects and the actions that they take are just out of this world so here's what this guy Terence McKenna wrote when it came to uh, meeting these elves he said so I did it and there was a something like a flower like a chrysanthemum in orange and yellow that was sort of spinning spinning and then it was like I was pushed from behind and I fell through the chrysanthemum into another place that didn't seem like a state of mind it seemed like another place and what was going on in this place aside from the tastefully so fitted indirect lighting and the crawling geometric hallucinations along the dome wall what was happening was that there was a lot of beings in there what I call self transforming machine elves sort of like jeweled basketballs all dribbling their way towards me and if they had faces they would have been grinning but they didn't have faces and they assured me that they loved me and they told me not to be amazed not to give away to astonishment by the way the self transforming machine aspect is one that's tied to various stories of people meeting these machine elves it's weird it's like it, it, it's like they are entities that create parts of themselves over and over again self transforming machines um, it's kinda hard to describe but I can visualize it at the same time like when you see something spinning and creating itself and then spinning and creating itself again very fascinating stuff when it comes to these machines also the other fact that that everyone 
that has experienced these creatures seems to state is their jubilated um, happiness, like whenever something like that happens. In fact, there are people have stated that when they met these entities, as they're waiting on the other side, again, denoting the fact that um, these things are all too happy to have new people come over and see them for the first time, they've actually talked to the people, the machine elves talked to the people that came over. And they've been cited as saying in loud explanation points, you know, how wonderful that you're here. You come so rarely. We're so delighted to see you. So very, very happy that they have somebody else coming in and seeing them either for the first time or for a repeated time. Others um, experience, state that these things apparently vibrate. And when they vibrate, they do it um, in a disconcerting manner. Think of it like... Um, like those Silent Hill monsters that are always shaking in that weird, unsettling manner. Imagine that with these machine elves. They also have the ability to, to um, go through things, to phase through things, because people state that these machine elves, they'll look at you and then they'll run and then they'll jump right through you into your body and then jump right back out again. And this is all happening in, in that world. It's happening like in a fast forward type mode where it's it seems as if somebody took the dial and sped it up two or three times the speed and you're seeing this and you're realizing it and it just looks weird. But the, but the, all this whole time these elves are telling you um, don't give in to the astonishment because it seems like if you do, then it kind of breaks the spell. Like if, if it overwhelms you too much, this whole experience, then um, that's when you're no longer there. So that's why they keep telling you, don't give in to the astonishment, stay calm, and then that way you can continue to, uh, to, to be with them. Others have stated that they sing. Uh, they have this weird set of voices the way they sing the way they talk um but uh, overall it seems to be that it's always um happiness that it's always like these things are again so very very happy uh to see you and have you over and they're just can't wait to show you all these things people say that they tell them look at this look at that uh do this do that and it, it's just something where it's uh it's it's something that people just can't get out of like it, it's it's they can't just help but be contaminated with the happiness that these creatures are by the way these trips are apparently not lasting very long um, because whatever the hold is in this realm um, once you're in it's something where you can't really stay there too long people have said that the trips are usually about four to five minutes at most um, who knows though if that's on their time or our time but whenever they come back um, these, these people whenever they come back from that realm about five minutes has lapsed altogether and then uh, whenever they're leaving whenever people are finally being told either it's time to go or they are being pulled back to our world then these things these machine elves realize it and they start telling you and waving and saying goodbye goodbye and instead of uh, finalizing things with like a final goodbye they say deja vu deja vu so pretty creepy stuff i mean it's really out there isn't it this this is something where um i mean there's alien abductions that people have described there's other things like supernatural and paranormal visits that are sometimes really bad stuff and then there's this i mean th this is um like uh, like living inside a glitter ball of some sort with these creatures morphing into machines and self-producing themselves it's pretty out there um very fascinating suggestion machine elves never heard of them before but to have something like this happen to apparently uh several people it makes you wonder how true can this be i mean you can't ignore it at the same time that it's not true but there's no physical evidence obviously tied to these machine elves because nobody has been able to take pictures record things videos um artifacts anything along those lines because of the unique realm that these people are in but yeah that's it that's the machine elves again produced by taking this psychedelic drug dmt which i recommend again you know don't take anything like that um, that alters your mind i don't recommend it um, but people that have taken it 
and reached a certain level of potency, then that's when they get to the realm where these machine elves are. By the way, I also picked this because when I was looking at the information, it was fascinating to realize how much stuff in the past that I've either read or watched kind of pointed to the machine elves and this realm without even realizing it. For example, um, if anyone has seen that Beavis and Butthead do America film, there's a part in there where Beavis, and it's a very memorable part, where Beavis, I believe he licks like a frog of some sort, or if it was a frog, it was some plants. And when that happens, he's taking on like some kind of quest, a vision quest, some hallucinatory quest, where he starts seeing dancing things, things melting, things wiggling in the background, um, all through the sound of some heavy metal music. And I remember thinking, oh, you know, that's just a, you know, um, a high like somebody that's really that's on high but I was wondering uh, now if whoever was making the film uh, Mike Judge and others if they were doing this and also kind of hinting at the machine elves also on the book um, one flew over a cuckoo's nest there's portions in there where the main one of the main characters the silent uh, Native American he highlights that there's certain realm that opens up when the patients there are forced to take certain drugs i can't recall too much detail it's been a while since i read the book but this realm which he calls the combine which if it sounds familiar it's only because half-life 2 used the word combine for the alien race that took over the earth they did it as a nod to the book um, for one flew over a cuckoo's nest but in any case in the book once the patients took those drugs and this other realm opened he would describe seeing like it was very I guess the best word I could describe is uh, like steampunk machine like and there was a lot of strange creatures around there was a lot of machine parts in and around the area um, and it, it reminded me when I was reading this information about DMT and the machine elves of that too so I was wondering if the author there was also noting to that so pretty interesting stuff machine elves has anyone else heard of these particular entities any other ways to get to these entities without the DMT drugs you know please post your comments share them below um, it, uh, uh, all we have now of course is just drawings everything that you've seen as far as these machine elves but if anyone has any other encounters with the machine elves themselves, maybe even proof, anything like that, please, it'll be fascinating to see. So, all right, everybody, thanks again as always. Take care.